With the greatest of respect, I doubt many wealthy footballers really relish a game at Moss Lane in Altrincham. But a kickabout of any description has been the light at the end of a very long tunnel for one man in particular. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. It is Hargreaves! It's his first goal for Manchester United! Delightful from Owen Hargreaves! The best is yet to come for me and I just can't wait to get back out there. Oh, he's done it! Owen Hargreaves becomes an instant United hero! The Reds have come from behind! Hargreaves has struck at the strip and end! It'll be great to see Owen Hargreaves back in a Manchester United shirt for the first time in 18 months. And of course, an important game for United Reserves at the top of the Reserve League North table against the Burnley side who have been walloped in their last few encounters. It's the first in a double header of matches against the Clarets Reserves. With me in the country box is Paddy Crown. Here are the two sides. Starting with United. And, of course, it's a chance to see Owen Hargreaves in a United shirt for the first time in 18 months. Wonderful to see that. The rest of the team there as well includes Fabian Brandy up front and four players on the substitutes bench, including Magnus Aikman, who's still making his comeback from a back injury. Let's take a closer look at this United team tonight. In between the sticks, Ron Robert Zeeler makes his third start in a row. The backline starts with Rhys Brown, who scored against Manchester City last time out. Centre of the defence, Scott Wooten, who started last week in place of Craig Cathcart, who was injured in the warm-up. He's joined by reserve player of the season nominee, Oliver Gill. Left back, his first competitive appearance since the end of January. Welcome back to Joe Dudgeon. Seventh start in a row for a familiar face, Corey Evans wears number four. A chance to see the lesser spotted Owen Hargreaves in the engine room where he belongs tonight for United. Cameron Stewart, 19 in three weeks, he's also in the starting 11. Joined by Rodrigo Possibon, his fifth game back since his return from Braga. And there's a place in the starting lineup for the Burnley boy. Oliver Norwood takes on his hometown club. Up front on his own, the pocket rocket, Fabian Brandy. I don't think he's going to be up front in his own very much, Fabian Brandy, when you've got Stuart and Norwood. It's great to see Owen Hargreaves back. I'll tell you something, it's a fair midfield they've got there with Cody Evans and Possibon. And you look at the team in general, and even the back four, got a lot of experience as reserve team players, maybe not so much as first team players. Very skillful side, actually. But as I say, it's all important that the own hard ways come through unscathed. Burnley, they look like this tonight. A few familiar names in there, but they haven't actually played that much first team football for Burnley between them. The goalkeeper is Peruvian Diego Penny who is just 25 years of age, only four Burnley appearances for them as well in their first team and only one in the Premier League.
then familiar names include Joey Goodjonson, the former Real Betis, Aston Villa, Wolves and Leicester player, snappy midfielder who will start in the centre of the park. There's the lively pairing of Frederick Nimani, the Frenchman on loan from Monaco, and J-Rod, J. Rodriguez. He starts up front as well. You know, God bless him. I I don't, I'm not being nasty when I say that. How can you come from Monaco? Beautiful south of France to Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> no heart in Burnley, but... But it's a team that's out there, they're not doing particularly well, their first team, and there's a lot of lads in there maybe thinking, well, if I can put on a little bit of a performance yeah. tonight, I might have a chance of getting in the first team. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's 50th competitive game in charge of the reserves. It's great to have a milestone like that, but it's a much more important one for Owen Hargreaves as he gets back into competitive action. <coughs> we expect him to play 45 minutes, Paddy. Yeah, it's a pity he's not going to play the 90, hasn't it? But I mean, they've been out so long. So what to ask? Kavanas. To Harvey. Stuart backpedalling. It's not a good book. It's totally going to fly out for a corner. Totally missed kick that. First corner in the direction of Burnley, and it's going to have Rodriguez and Nimani lining up to get on the end of it. Two centre-halves come forward, they're important as well because Kevin Long is the tallest Burnley player on the pitch. Don't possess too much height though, particularly in the centre of the park. Possible easily away as far as Harvey. That battered into Brandy. I don't think Brandy knew anything about that. Well, he can't quite believe the decision. Mm -hmm. Matt Bristow, the referee, has penalised United for the handball. Maybe Brandy tried to protect himself and it's hit his hand. Come on, come on, quick, quick. Well, that's yeah. harsh to say the least, isn't well, it? Well, it did happen to Hans. Both of them in actual fight, but I think he's trying to protect himself. Self-preservation was the order yeah. there for Mr Brandy. Anyway, this is dangerous because Joey Goodjonsson has an absolute hammer of a right foot. Seen him score these kind of goals for Real Betis, for Aston Villa, and for Leicester in his time, Wolves as well. It's either going to be the blaster from Goodjonsson or a placement from Harvey. It's Goodjonsson, and he's Holy. almost taken the goal out of the ground. Oh, dear me, what a strike that was. I was just going to say it as well. Obviously, you don't fancy standing on this wall. That's a tremendous strike, that. The power. Oh. Dear me. I wouldn't be surprised if that ball is still travelling. Norwood to Possibon again. Brandy wants it over the top. Instead, it's Reese Brown. Involved at both ends. Well, they've got in the match pace, last week. Patient. There's a lot of people back there. He's onside. Brown is onside. He's, onside. He's got Stewart in the middle. Possibon's there too. Drops Great. to Norwood. Great ball by Reese Brown. I said they're going to get caught. They did get caught there. Reece, or rather, Reese Brown definitely wasn't offside. And you're thinking, try and pick someone out. It does. But the defence are out quick to block it. Possibon's the one that tries to get the shot in, but Hoskins blocks him. Well, 21 minutes it's taken. And that's the first United attempt on goal. And as you said, Pat, the offside trap. Yeah, they'll get caught again. Won't work every time, will it? No, it won't. They were expecting Fabian Brandy to be the recipient of the ball. Instead, it was Brown. Now here's Brandy again. Stewart in support. Here he is. Away from McDonald. Get booked for that. Couldn't so. help but bring him down. The two sevens clash. Referee. Yeah, isn't going to book him. 